Hi. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to output write maps, uh, the colorful version of write maps uh, in WinSteps. If you have not downloaded WinSteps, please go to this website, uh, which I will leave the link for you, uh, and download at least MinSteps uh, because it allows you to analyze at most uh, the data coming from 70, 75 persons. Uh, who performed on 25 items. But if you can uh, get the full version, that will be much better. Now, the WinSteps that I'm using, the version of WinSteps that I'm using for today is version 4.7, uh, and today is the 26th of November, 2020. Uh, this is the, the most recent version of WinSteps that I have access to. And actually, the difference between this version and the previous ones is that it has added one option under plots, which after I analyze the data, you will see that option. It's not active yet. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to get wind steps, as I said. And after that, we will also need to download the R package because wind steps calls out the R package and the write map that I'm referring to is going to be outputted through the R package. So please go to this website. I will also leave this link in the comment box below. And just click on download R 4.0.3. That's the latest version uh, up until today for Windows and download it. And uh, after it's installed on your machine, you can just open it. After opening it, you need to go to Packages and click on Install Packages because we need to install that write map package first. Now, it prompts you to choose one of these mirrors. You can choose anything, actually. You can use the cloud or Australia or anything. Let's just click on Australia and click OK. It's going to take a few seconds before the list of the packages will appear and that's what you, what you have here. What you need to do is to scroll down to find the write map package, which is, uh, let me say, is right at the bottom of this list. As you see, there are many R packages that have been developed for a variety of purposes. Now, the one I'm looking for is right WOP okay here here it is and then click OK so it will be installed automatically for you it's gonna take some time there you are okay so it has been it has been downloaded and this message actually right here indicates that I have gotten it and this is the folder where the download has been installed okay so now that I have gotten that package, I just close this and I don't need to save this and go back to WinSteps. So in WinSteps, you can open any files that you have and you want to analyze. In other videos previously, I have discussed how to create input files for WinSteps and how to make sense of the output. So in this presentation, I'm not going to go through the same thing again. I'll just show you how to use plots, the plot menu, and how to uh, generate different colorful write maps. So let's open one of the files. The file that I want to use for this presentation is this one. It's called exam17s. Actually, you can find this under the example folder in WinSteps itself. That is, after you install WinSteps, it also generates a folder in which you find a lot of examples, and you can also find this. So in this folder, we have, um, this is the input file. In, in, sorry, in this file, we have quite a few variables and a number of items, which are here. Uh, there are 18 items and a few person variables. And the person variable, the first person variable is called uh, setting. And persons have been divided into admission and discharge. I will discuss this further in, a f in, in another video where I will talk about repeated measures, ROSH measurement, because this is the right file for repeated measures, ROSH measurement. Um, in addition, people have been divided into males and females. So th this makes the second variable. 
we can also find these two variables under the data itself. So up to this part, we have uh, the item statistics. And from uh, after this little gap, as you see, uh, to the left, to the right hand side, you will see person uh, variables. And the first one is AD admission versus discharge. You see A and D, they have been divided in this way. And the second variable is gender. I think that's pretty uh, enough for this uh, presentation to know how to generate the data, the right file, and how to make sense of them. So let's go to file and open this input file. I've already opened this. So WinSteps knows the path. I clicked on it and uh, pressed enter once and the second time. And I have discussed these in previous videos. So we have, for example, a good separation for persons, which is more than five and a good separation for items, which is also more than four. A very good reliability statistics. Now, what I would like to do is to go to plots quickly. And as you see, there is this right map R statistics, which was not available in previous versions of WinStest, but we have it now. So let's click on this to see what we will get. This window pops up with a lot of interesting options. The first thing I would like to do is to quickly run an analysis and to get a right map just using the default options without changing anything. So let's click on right map. And here's the first right map that I've gotten. Let's wait for a while. Okay, here it is. Uh, what we have on this right map is persons and the distributions of, again, persons based on their admission, A and D, if you remember, admission and discharge. Uh, so you see there is a significant difference between order. I mean, visually, it's not statistically, visually significant difference between A and D groups. But if you put everything together, all people, you will get this distribution. Now, on the right-hand side, you will see the distribution of items, and they have been arranged based on their number, the entry number. Number one, two, three, all the way to number 18. Now, actually, you can change these, and you can change these as well, but how do you make these changes? Before I explain that, I should also say that uh, we're looking at a data that has, I'm gonna explain this here. Uh, we're, we're looking at a, at a data set that has several categories and they uh, range from one to seven. So there are seven level rate, th th this is a seven level rating scale. And you can also find these on, on this map on the right hand side because every line, every heart is a vertical line represents one item. So for item number one, category number two, is right at the bottom because look at the color uh, uh, they have been color coded so it, it will be very easy for us to uh, to uh, to find out which category uh, I mean the location of each of the categories for example for this one category 2 is right at the bottom meaning that it's the easiest category uh, category number one doesn't seem to have been chosen so we don't see it on the map then category number three, as you see, is purplish. Category number four is blue. Five is orange. I might be a little bit uh, colorblind, uh, but I think it looks looks like orange to me. Number seven and six, you see they have kind of shifted around, meaning that uh, the the categories are disorganized. We should first see number six, then number seven on top. But here we see first number seven, which is represented by this red circle, and then number six, which is represented by a small uh, green circle, which indicates we have kind of disorganized threshold. What I would recommend is to collapse these two categories because of the order and create another category. So we will have a different sort of item after 
collapsing them. You can collapse it down or collapse uh, this. This will be collapsing downward, meaning that uh, collapsing downward is when you collapse a higher category downwards with a lower category and you combine them with combine them with each other. Okay, so uh, you can go through the rest of the categories, and I think for almost all of the items, as far as I can see, uh, there is that kind of shift, which is an anomaly in the difficulty of the, these categories. So seven is always, in all of these items, is always uh, easier to choose compared with six, which should not be the case uh, in a reliable measurement. So I'm going to just leave this as is and go back to plots and change some of these options to see what kind of plots we will get. The first thing I would like to change is to change on the left hand side here is to change one of the attributes that contributes to uh, the right map and that's uh, the group code. I'm going to change it to sex so we'll have males and females and quickly click on right map and you will see that we will get the distribution, yeah, for, for males, that's X1, versus females, that's X2. And uh, as you see, the shape of uh, these items also changed. I think I might have changed something. Uh, let me just go back to reset all to defaults, so everything will be changed. I just, what I really want to do here is to change only this variable to sex and to generate that the map again okay yeah so it's back to the uh, to the uh, default the only difference is the arrangement that the items it was just different I'm gonna close this and I will generate that later and explain it now the other thing I would like to do is just how about to get rid of uh, sex in this uh, output map so I'm gonna unclick this and leave everything else as is and click right map so you will see that there is no gender variable anymore the distribution of persons is there regardless of the gender of people uh, and i think i i'm going to close a few of these because every time you output one it will stay there and uh, the interface of your your computer will be cluttered up a little bit Okay, so the other thing I would like to try, I'm going to go back to uh, this box here and click gender. So I like to bring it back in. Instead of arranging persons based on their ability, I would like to arrange them based on their outfit mean square values. So I click on fit and outfit mean square values. Uh, this means that I'm going to have a different shape uh, for the right map. I've explained what outfit and inf infit uh, statistics mean in another video actually in a few other videos that I have created I highly recommend that you watch them if uh, you think that it's a bit difficult for you to understand what's going on okay so uh, persons and genders have been arranged based on their f outfit mean square values but items are the same as you see here items do not change at all. I'm just toggling between two different outputs that I have created so far. Now let's go back to this analysis and uh, click on left side measure. I want to keep measure instead of this and perhaps change the histogram to a continuous density. So you'll see another shape will appear in the right map which is similar to the conventional right map in a sense. Let me output, so this is the continuous density. Let me output the conventional right map for you. And that's, where is it? It's here. Okay. And let's compare it with, compare it with the right map that I just created here. The colorful right map versus the conventional one. I'm referring to it as a colorful right map here. Okay, so you see we have got two domes here. Uh, there's a dip and I think we you can also see this here clearly there the dome is here and there's a dip and then there is another dome and it just dips down again for 
males and females we can only find it on this map it's not available on this right map unfortunately so this seems to be an advantage that this R package offers over the conventional sort of analysis I'm going to go back to I'm going back to uh, plots click on right map R statistics once again uh, click reset to defaults now what I would like to do is to change some of the options on this side uh, this is the item side for example so far I have been arranging the items based on their entry number I would like to arrange them based on their measures it's gonna be a more interesting sort of shape and also what I would like to do is uh, to change the threshold symbols basically the th the symbols that you saw are circles small circles and the, the first one uh, the, the, this the, this is number one now I would like to change it to for example number six so instead of uh, circles you're gonna see small triangles in number six I just typed in six and that's all you you want to do uh, right map and you'll get a different kind of shape I'm gonna to toggle between the two you see actually three of them they're they're different in the sense that the items are arranged based on their difficulty so the easiest item is number one on the left hand side and the most difficult one is on, on number 13 on the left hand side on the right hand side uh, the easiest category on item 1 is right at the bottom which is easier than minus 0.2 logits so the difficulty falls below minus 0.2 whereas the difficulty of the easiest threshold uh, or category of item 13 is uh, above minus one so this is a kind of uh, you know rather significant difference between uh, the difficulty of the two thresholds that's a very interesting finding in this analysis this can be also only done using rush analysis and not using uh, classical so-called classical test theory analysis okay so I'm gonna go back to uh, this uh, this, this uh, window and what I would like to do is to remove the colors so I'm gonna unclick this and I'm gonna unclick this the first one will remove the color for person distributions and this one for item distributions sometimes uh, editors or some reviewers ask you to remove the colors on you know on the uh, right map and submit um, a black and white <laughs> version of your uh, right map so this is one way that you can actually make sure that those colors do not appear uh, remember that uh, this group code is s1w1 that's admission versus discharge so I'm gonna leave it as is I'm gonna click right map to get a new black and white right map there you are all the colors are gone it might not be as attractive as, as this one I mean I really leave it up to you depending on the purposes of your paper and the requirements I'm gonna click on colored again the other thing I would like to do is to change the uh, shape of the person distributions uh, currently we have them in columns let's change them in compressor classical um, shape and click on right map and see what we will get uh, so it's actually uh, sorry it was item distribution rather than person distribution so um, now we have a different distribution for items a different shape for presenting items this is another way so for example for item number one the threshold number one falls right at the bottom item number one threshold uh, this is category number one uh, and then category number two then category number three for item one if you see that then category number one uh, c category number four for item number one and so on and so forth now this is also a very interesting way of presenting your output and let's also cha uh, change it to histogram and compare it with histogram to see what happens and this is another way of doing it 
Um, it's not as intuitive as the other two ways of presenting thresholds, honestly. At least to me, this one makes more sense and this one is a lot more meaningful than this one because you don't have much information here. And finally, if you would like to get a quick feel for the distribution of your persons, uh, their, for example, their measures or their fit statistics, I would recommend that you can uh, click on this this icon here, this button here. So left side person, uh, person side item and right side person side uh, item side persons. This is one thing that you need to do. Click this. In addition, click. Uh, make sure to click either measure or fit statistics, depending on what you really want to see. In this analysis, I would like to first look at look at the measures and I want to sort them in an ascending uh, fashion or you could do it in descending way let's just try ascending first I'm gonna click on right map and you will see that it, this very beautiful distribution of person ability which is not exactly an S shape graph but it's close uh, I guess closer to an S shape graph uh, S shaped graph the other sort of uh, arrangement will be descending which is the opposite or the mirror image of what you just saw let's click on ascend uh, click on right map and you'll get it get an error a mirror image of that I'm just toggling between the two so you'll you can see them clearly and let's also change measure to fit statistics to in fit for example just to get a quick feel for how fitting your persons are. And you see that based on the infit mean square values, there are people who fall outside of 1.5. So if, if I want to draw something here for you, it will be, okay, so a line right here is almost 1.5. And below this is also 0.5. So this is the area that's more productive in terms of uh, the reliability of the estimated measures of the people. But uh, there are quite a few people who fall outside of that area, which is more reliable. And below and, and above the lines that I have drawn for you. So it indicates that there are people who are misfitting. It's, this is just a quick way of looking at how uh, the fit of your data looks like okay thank you very much this brings me to the end of this video if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions feel free to leave the questions in the comment box i'll be happy to answer your questions okay so thank you very much and have a good day